First things first. In an attempt to make a video about sanitizing a fresh water tank informative yet entertaining as well, I will hide a hidden question somewhere in this video. If you find it, please provide your answer in the comments. Imagine you are out having the time of your life camping in God's country. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the wind blowing through your hair, and then you get a hankering for some fresh lemonade. You grab a lemon, slice it in half, and squeeze it into a glass. Add some sugar, fill it up with water and ice, give it a good shake, and then savor the sweet and sour goodness that has kick-started the careers of many young entrepreneurs across the land. Can it get any better than this? Wait, you didn't sanitize your fresh water tank, you say? In that case, let's back up and take a closer look. As you tipped your head back to partake of the lemony liquid gold, if we zoom in, you can see here that you may be ingesting more than you expected. Any number of harmful bacteria, viruses, or parasites may be lurking in your fresh water tank or contaminated water. Bacteria such as H. pylori, Legionella, or harmful types of coliform. And don't forget those pesky parasites such as Cryptosporidium or Giardia intestinalis, all with the ability to ruin your day, week, or even worse. So how do I protect myself from these microscopic anti-do-gooders? <laughs> no, I don't send them back to hell in a fiery inferno with my torch. I sanitize my fresh water tank. And today, I'm going to show you how I do it. But first, by following my method, you acknowledge that I am by no means an expert on these matters. Improperly sanitizing your fresh water tank and water lines can result in harmful bacteria, viruses, or parasites being present in your water. In addition to sanitizing, you should always be aware of the water source you are choosing to use to fill up your water tank. Filling a properly sanitized water tank with contaminated water will result in contaminating the water tank and water lines as well, therefore requiring the need to sanitize again. Please do your own research beyond watching this video. As entertaining as it is, you should by all means not accept it as the sole source of authority on these matters or any other matter as a matter of fact. First, I assemble the following supplies. A hose approved for drinking water. A quarter turn hose shut off valve. Good old regular bleach. A measuring cup. A small piece of clear hose. A funnel a gallon water container, and of course, gloves. I start by calculating the amount of bleach I will need. It is recommended to use one eighth of a cup of bleach per eight gallons of tank capacity. For my build, I have a seven gallon fresh water tank plus the water lines, so I use right around one eighth of a cup. I pour the bleach into the gallon water container and fill it with water. This dilutes the solution enough to make it safe to add to your fresh water tank. Next, verify your fresh water tank and low point drains are closed, and make sure your water faucet is turned off as well. I then open up my gravity fill access and insert the small clear tube far enough that the water will flow into the tank and not spill out. With the funnel attached to the clear hose, I then pour the bleach water solution into the tank. Make sure to rinse out anything that came into contact with the bleach solution before storing. Then I take the hose connected to a safe water supply and fill up the rest of the tank. If you have a hot water tank installed, many recommend bypassing it before running the bleach solution through the lines. Once full, I run water through the hot and cold water lines until I can smell bleach. I will then do a maintenance check on all my water lines and drains to make sure there aren't any leaks that crept up over winter. And now we wait at least 12 hours to give the bleach solution time to kill the microscopic bad guys. I also like to drive around a bit so that I know the bleach solution worked its way around into every nook and cranny. Once an appropriate amount of time has passed, I grab a bucket and drain the bleach solution out of the fresh water tank and water lines. I then fill the tank back up and run water through both hot and cold water lines. If I can still smell bleach in the water, I empty the tank and repeat the process until a strong bleach smell is no longer present. Well, that's about it. 
with proper care of your fresh water tank and water lines, you can minimize your risk of getting sick or worse from drinking bad water. Remember though, proper care is only half the battle. Be wise about what water source you are tapping into. I hope you found this video helpful, and don't forget to comment your answer to the hidden question below. Until next time, Godspeed.